Okay, in 2024, we are gonna do an Alaska trip and we're gonna put a truck camper on the back of our dually. Now, so, so that this show, we're looking at lots of, uh, of different truck campers and I came across a brand that I wasn't that familiar with, is Travel Light RV and this is Keith with Travel Light RV, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm gonna let Keith take it away and tell us a little bit about the brand. Absolutely, so uh, Travel Light RV has been around since the 80s. Uh, in 2000, early 2000, late 99, early 2000, we went through a little ownership change and we decided to rebrand the company and stop building some of the things that we were doing in the past. Um, some models were like the Falcon, the Evoke, um, some other, other lines, the Idea, all kinds of things that we just put to the side and we decided to take a relook at what we actually were doing. So travel light, we decided we want to get in that little niche of lightweight vehicles that we build stuff that nobody else can t that nobody else does for people that earlier couldn't tow anything. Right. So we came out with the Rove Light series and our Rove Light series is they're all right at 2,500 pound GVWR except for our 16 footers of 3,500 pound GVWR. We don't use any wood in the floor, ceiling or sidewalls in our construction. We have a honeycomb composite floor. We use um, Asdell on the interior walls. We use um, all aluminum framing. The actual chassis frame itself is aluminum. Um, we do sway control built in so you don't have to worry about all that type of stuff at the dealer. No weight distribution or any of that. So um, that's really we decided to do that niche. Once we took that and we learned what we did there, we took that and applied it to a toy hauler, which is over there, which I'm sure you guys will get to. Right. But we've got the toy hauler. I've got a, a toy hauler that's uh, 26 foot nine overall. It'll hold 3,500 pounds, and the dry weight itself is 3,500 pounds. So we took what we learned there and wow, built another that's light. light. It's super light. And so, so what we're looking for is a, is a truck camper. Sure. I just saw a video recently where a, a truck snapped in half because mm -hmm. they've got the truck camper way overloaded. Sure. You know what I mean? So we don't want, and that was a dually, like snapped. Sure. So we when we do the truck camper, we want to make sure we're within limits, you know? So all my stuff is really, really light. Um, we started out, um, we've got the scent that we just rolled out here at Tampa. That scent weighs 992 pounds. Wow. Or 922 pounds, I'm sorry. Right. So you 922 can, you can do pounds. That in a, like an F-150 or something like that. That one's actually made to fit in a quarter, quarter ton pickup, quarter so that'll ton. fit in a Gladiator, it'll fit in a Ranger, it'll fit in a Canyon. No kidding. It'll fit in a Tacoma, that'll wow. fit in a, the new Ford Maverick, it'll right. fit in that as well. Um, then next to that is the Atom, which is the next lightweight truck camper we decided to come out with. Right. Um, that Atom is called the Atom 400. The basic difference between the scent and the Atom is the cab over. The scent is basically that Atom without the cab over, so it does sleep. That's more right. for an individual person to take out. The Atom is, will sleep three. Um, the dry weight on the Atom is uh, 1,270 pounds. And then what we did is we took those the jacks and we made them removable with a single pin so that you could take those jacks and leave them at home and save yourself another 140 pounds yeah, from that 1,270. Gonna, if you're not gonna drop it somewhere, then well, you can just leave that well, all that weight at home. Absolutely. Why would okay. you need to bring it with? And yeah. how big does how big does this uh, series get? So that atom itself is um, the atoms is the that's the first in its series. Um, there are some other plans for that atom line. Don't want to let the cat out of the bag just yet. Right. But that again will fit in those quarter size pick quarter ton pickups. They're, yeah. So you're like Colorado Canyon Ranger. Well, even um, those. All that wow. stuff. Jeep Gladiator, which they, right. nobody had an option for a Jeep Gladiator before. Right. Toyota Tacoma. No, but there wasn't an option for a Toyota Tacoma before because of their payload capacity. So we just want to stay light, mm -hmm. do the Alaska, and be able to get off road and not worry about beating up the truck. Yep, and that's what we did with this. So what I was getting to earlier, we took the what we learned from the Rove into the toy hauler, but then we moved it to the truck camper. Right. So our old truck campers were made with Banac, Brazilian hardwood, and some pine and some other things. Well, we took all the wood out of this one as well. Right. So that's all aluminum framed. That's all. So the, all frames aluminum. It has the honeycomb floor as right. well as the the cab over bed. The floor of the cab over bed also has that honeycomb fiberglass. Wow. So interior walls are all Asdell. Yeah. Um, I love the fact that you guys really work on the materials to keep it light. And that's Doesn't what, that increase the cost though? Doesn't it, that make it expensive? You would think it does, but with we found that the pricing of wood and stuff was getting so high anyways, right. we were exploring other avenues, right? And if we can build it better, I yeah. think the quality and longevity, people are willing to pay a little bit more where, for that. Where are these built? Uh, Syracuse, Indiana is where our plant oh, is. Oh, Indiana, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Syracuse, Indiana. Uh, I got you. They're always there. So um, this is the 650. Uh, your 650 dry weight is is uh, 1,576 pounds. Right. So you're still in a half ton with this. Yeah. So you can put this in a, uh, the new uh, the new beds are starting to be six and three quarter. You can put this put this unit in there and close the and tailgate. And what is what is something like this go for? Um, the right. retail on these things are right around 28. Well, high, that's, you know. That's reasonable. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Right, right yeah. on. Yep, and they've got you know they obviously they've got their show and, pricing. And what and dealerships, uh, you know, what dealership network are you? 
I've got well throughout throughout the U.S. and Canada. I've got 92 dealers currently. 92, We're still right. working on a couple that are is somebody here on in the Florida? edge. Yep, Village RV is here in Florida. Oh, that's they're the guys in, in that over there. Yeah, yes. right on. Yep. Village yep. RV carries our truck campers in Florida. Okay, great. Mm -hmm. Okay, good to know. Well, thanks very much, Keith. I really appreciate it. Mm -hmm.